When I told my mom and dad that I want to get water baptized, I was so surprised to find out that they get to baptize me. Then I found out that the people in our small group wanted to get water baptized the same day I was. That was too cool. Today there's dads and moms who are baptizing their kids. There are small group leaders who are baptizing their neighbors and their friends who've come to their house, who they've led them to the Lord, because this isn't just something that a pastor does. This is something that all of us are involved in as a command of scripture. I was an atheist. I was at a really low point in my life where I was ready to end it all. I tried to kill myself. Steve and V are our neighbors. We became friends. They helped me to get to know about God. More importantly, they cared enough about me to help me know I matter to God and that there is hope. I started a relationship with Jesus. I've never felt this alive in my life. I am now part of their small group, and my wife and I love having friends that support and encourage us to live for God. I asked Steve what this water baptism thing was. When you go down in the water, Romans 6 says, when you go down in the water, it's as if you're being buried with Christ. You say, who wants to be buried? The old you needs to be buried. The person you were before you came to Jesus, the person who's selfish, the person who lives for themselves, he's being buried, she's being buried. And as you come up, Romans 6 says, you're being resurrected with Christ to a new life in him. Behold, all things have become new. And I knew that was what God wanted me to do. The incredible change I saw in my husband's life was exactly what I'd been wishing and hoping for in my marriage and family. When he came home and told me that he wanted to take that public step as a Christian and turning away from sin, I knew that's what I needed to do as well. I knew we needed to do it together. My husband, Israel and Steve have been friends for a very long time. Israel is a good husband and a good father, but he was always in and out of trouble. Steve was always there for him. He never stopped praying for him, always invited him to church and his small group. He cared a lot about Israel. Because of prayers, my husband started the journey back to the Lord. He so deeply wanted to get it right with God. He was willing to come clean and pay the price for his mistakes. Because of drinking, he went to prison. In prison, we talked about taking the step together to start living for God. We agreed to get water baptized together when he got out. Within a month, Israel got really sick. Five months after being in prison, he died. I wanted to get water baptized. I so wish Israel was here to do it with me. But when I found out that several of my dearest friends in my small group were getting water baptized, I was thrilled to have the people who were close to us be there with me. God is doing amazing things in our lives and of the people in our small group. The day I got water baptized was a very, very special day. 